Hello everyone. Thank you very much for joining today's session, uh, The Art of Conducting Customer Interviews. To introduce myself, I'm Nirav Patel. I work with Microsoft as product lead for last more than six years. Have over 20 years of industry experience uh, managing and developing and implementing enterprise grade B2B as well as B2C products. Over the years, I worked with customers across the geographies and that helped me uh, leveraging and receiving a lot of experiences, conducting customer interviews as well as understanding their behavior. So let's get into today's session. Uh, let's see uh, what are the topics today. So uh, today's, today we will start with uh, understanding the types of customer interviews. Then we will understand how to identify right audience for our interviews. Uh, the next topic is how you balance what and how sides in the interviews. Uh, then we will move to the untold stories of customers. Uh, following that, uh, we will cover some tips, uh, the to-dos to conduct successful interviews. We will look at don'ts to avoid failure. And then we will get into a quick framework that you can leverage to conduct interviews in future. Uh, that's the framework that I developed uh, based on my learning. I call it diaper. Don't laugh. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. Uh, to start with uh, types of customer interviews. And the first type of interview would be uh, during market research and analysis. So when you are uh, doing market analysis at the start of the uh, product uh, initial phase, uh, that's when you go to customer to conduct uh, the interviews, right? Uh, this is the time when most of the time uh, you will find customer little confused. Uh, so uh, why? Because they may not know the product. They may not know the feature. Uh, they might not know what, what to respond and how to respond right so prepare your questionnaire accordingly the second type of interviews could be possible right after the pilot of your product or right after the soft launch or of your product uh, this is the time when customer would have received part of the product uh, might not be very happy because there might be some defects they might be expecting more so prepare your questionnaire accordingly the third type of interviews might be possible during the regular run and growth phase of your product now, this is the phase when most of the time customer stakeholders might be busy with their day-to-day -day work. Uh, many may not be interested even to sit with you and answer you, right? So uh, prepare your questionnaire accordingly. Keep it simple, quick, right? And then let's go to the next part of the interview. The another kind of interviews could be possible when uh, in future you may want to launch uh, or, or you may want to analyze a large new upcoming feature. Uh, this is something when you reach out to customer with, uh, they might be really exciting to discuss about it. But the important thing is that you reach out to right customer stakeholders who might be interested in that kind of features. Yeah. So these are the types of interviews prepare accordingly. Uh, next, uh, next topic is how you identify right audience for your interviews. Uh, and we will talk about the types of users or customers possible. You have to ensure that you select or focus on right type of users for your interview. Uh, so let's see what all kind of users might be possible. The regular users or end users, a subject matter expert, SME level users, managerial users, or leadership level users. So uh, when you approach uh, regular users, if you want to talk about operational cases, simple regular use cases, or when you want to talk about efficiency related points, these are the right topics when you reach out to regular end user customers. In case uh, you want to discuss and learn about special scenarios and how to handle them, if you want to explore more options to do the same type of work in a different way, these are the topics and candidates when you reach out to subject matter expert level users. Uh, if you want to focus more about the productivity cost or time improvements, or if you want to focus about the aspects of product that focuses on the quality improvement, uh, these are the topics when managerial users are more interested. So for this topic, plan to go to managerial users. And if you have some features that might impact higher level employee moral or, or it, it impacts directly on the competition or the long-term goals, these are the specific topics when you may want to approach leadership level or senior leadership level users because they are really interested to talk about this kind of topics. Moving to uh, next topic, again, part of the identifying right audience, but here we will talk about the known user audience and stranger. Uh, what I mean by that known is the user 
about whom you know the skill set of the user that you know or you might have good working relationship with the person right so when you know the user you know the skill set of the user you have working relationship with the user these are the kind of users who when you approach them keep your questions very precise because you know the person you know how they might respond or you may you might have good tuning or uh, you can bring a very detailed questioner to them uh, because uh, you can leverage your relationship there and you can have a recurring questioner as well with them on ongoing basis to further detail out your questions in future uh, so leverage your relationship and your knowledge of particular user when those are known in case the users are stranger you are planning to approach them for the first time in this kind of scenarios keep your possible interviews brief and try to cover more wider topics but still keep them brief uh, also possibly go to them one time uh, because uh, you don't know uh, they might change their uh, uh, mindset uh, in the second round so uh, possibly keep it one time moving to the next topic uh, this is about what and how so uh, you might be thinking what is what and how here right so uh, this is about uh, when you when you are building the product or when you are planning to launch new features the thoughts or ideas related to what side of the product what i mean that what do you want to build what new features you want to build what validations you want to add uh, those kind of uh, thoughts should come from your side based on your market research but how you want to implement that side should be focused in the interviews uh, let's take example uh, you want to add recommendations inside your product now you have already decided the what side of it that you want to add recommendations but how you should implement that's the part that should come based on customer interviews what i mean by that for example where should you display the recommendations on the right hand side bottom uh, during the product browsing or after the order is placed or when user logins right all those kind of stuff you can cover in your interviews with customer capture their thoughts and then you can decide how part of that how you will implement particular feature later on yeah i'm pretty sure this will help please be very careful about how you select your questioner it should focus to find out how side of uh, your products and features moving to next topic uh, how you identify or recognize some of the untold stories when you interact with customers there will be number of things that they may not speak up but you may still want to find it out so let's check couple of points here uh, you may want to find out what motivates your customer to use that particular product or feature they may not speak out but uh, plan your questions accordingly to find that out another part could be that does your product or feature cover the basic jobs to be done for the customer uh, you might focus on just particular functionality or activity but until and unless you figure out that how it covers overall jobs to be done for the customer uh, they may not speak up but it's your job to find out and you may want to build in the missing functionalities in future another part is uh, you may want to find out the kind of problems that customer face on day to day basis while uh, using the particular product or while doing their work you may want to learn about their struggling moments that is very important because that will give you very good insight into what you should be build and how you should be building another point is that uh, you should focus on learning how particular functionalities might be used differently or how the same functionality can be achieved differently via different routes this will help you to find out the simple most route and how or when you should be prioritizing that particular route another part is that is learning about customer habits this is also very important many times customer do not speak about how they uh, how they use the particular feature uh, or at times they don't recognize uh, they fail to talk about how they use so it is a good idea to see how customer does particular type of work or functionality uh, maybe sit with them and see them yeah uh, you may want to find out the buying barriers at times uh, the barriers could be budgets constraints or uh, they might have some another product from market and the licenses that is going to expire after 6 months so this is the frame when they may not want to buy your product 
So you may want to indirectly find out if there are any barriers to use your product or buy your product. Another item could be any barriers from seasonality front. Uh, some product might not be that well help, uh, useful around end of the year or start of the year or middle of the year or in particular weather specific season or something else. So try to find it out. That will definitely help you. Okay, so moving next. Uh, in this topic, we will uh, take and talk about some tips uh, in terms of how you can make your interviews successful. To do's. The first topic is uh, roughly how many customers you should interview, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, you, many of you might be thinking about it. So I would say that generally you should be interviewing five to six customers in each category or persona. That is a good number. Do not go more than 10 uh, because my experience says that uh, after 10, most probably you will fetch repetitive outcome. So uh, roughly five to six, max 10. Uh, okay, uh, another important point during conducting interviews is that you must try hard and work hard to bring the consistency in conducting interviews for the same topic. This is very, very important. Why? Because it always helps you to stay focused uh, on your desired outcome while driving the interviews efficiently. Uh, there is another benefit. It will also help you to uncover some of the specific user patterns or trends if that exist. Yeah. So make it consistent when you meet multiple users for same category or same persona. Uh, some more tips on to do's. Uh, okay, so another thing is how you approach your interviews to make it successful. Let's let's see a couple of points. Start with easy and fact-based questions in your interviews. Uh, keep your interviews casual and relaxed. Don't make it tense and stressed. Uh, yes, uh, always make it face-to-face. -face. Uh, that's the way to go. If not possible in this COVID days, make it video call. Uh, include some broader questions That's that always helps you to identify some patterns and understand user behavior well. Uh, yes, uh, this is some different topic uh, you might not have think of. So uh, ensure that you have genuine interest to understand what customer explains. Uh, your goal is to understand the particular point from user's point of view. So, so show genuine interest when you take the interviews. And yes, ask probing questions because it helps you to refine the thoughts and it helps you to fetch better insights of particular topic. Yeah. Let us look at a couple of points in terms of what helps you to make the interviews more effective. There are a couple of points here. So uh, there are times when you might not know the users uh, and I think that's one of the minor drawback. So what I suggest is that uh, set up your interviews in advance and then by the time you get into the interview, ensure that you build some rapport with customer in advance. It always helps. So work upon building rapport before you go and meet customer in the interview. Uh, practice effective listening. What is effective listening? <laughs> well, that's the technique that helps you to isolate the noise uh, during the conversation because your goal is to stay focused about the learning of your particular topic. Yeah. Another, another important point is that uh, focus on the questions uh, that you prepared well in advance and your goal is to validate your understanding using that particular question for the same uh, problem statement that you had it in your mind before coming inside interview. So stay focused uh, in, on your questions and what you want to understand. Uh, one more point is uh, keep cross-checking your understanding as a part of the interview process uh, because there is a very much possibility of creating some confusion or understanding something incorrectly. Uh, it also helps you to be on the same page when you practice reflective listening and you cross-checking your understanding with customer. Okay. So we covered some good points uh, on to do's. Uh, now also look at something what you should not be doing uh, to avoid any failures in the interviews. So uh, a thumb rule, uh, no presentations or no product demos. Do not bundle uh, the large presentations or uh, practical demos of your product in your interviews. Don't ask leading questions. 
uh, what that means is that you should not be asking the questions such as you put the answer in customer's mouth, right? So no leading questions, please. Uh, another tip is uh, don't get into why when customer responds something, because as soon as you get into why side of it, it, it triggers rational mindset when customer might stop sharing his or her thought process and they will hesitate further to share their thoughts with you down the line in the interview. So no wise, please. Uh, don't keep asking a lot of questions. Uh, your goal is to ask some questions and listen customer in detail. Uh, your goal is to understand their side of it. So instead of asking a lot of questions, flooding a lot of questions, uh, focus on understanding customer. Another tip is that do not uh, demonstrate strong reactions to what customer responds. Uh, this is also very important. Otherwise, it will trigger customer in particular direction. No positive reactions, no negative reactions, uh, no serious reactions. So control it. Uh, another tip, uh, don't reflect negativity in your tone. So there are times when you might know that for a particular topic, customer might be negative but do not reflect it in the question that you prepare for your interview or don't give hint of negativity in your question itself. Uh, another part is don't be defensive uh, when customer uh, comes back with the negative response about something that you ask. That is also very important because if you be defensive, customer will stop sharing his or her thought process. Yeah, so that were those were a couple of good points uh, that you must practice uh, to avoid uh, some of the negativity or uh, say uh, failure in your interviews. Well, uh, over the years, uh, I gain all of these experiences and try to put it into some framework. Uh, well, the name is funny diaper. It is just to remember how you remember it, right? So I came across this small, simple framework uh, that you can uh, you may want to use it. Uh, to prepare for your future interviews and to you to conduct your interviews. Let's go, let's check it. So it's a six phase uh, framework, uh, define, identify, arrange, prepare, execute and review. Uh, so uh, for interviews, you start with defining uh, your interview scope and desired outcome, right? Uh, once you have defined scope, uh, you need to identify the right customer audience to conduct your interviews. Uh, once you identified your audience, uh, you need to arrange the interviews and then start building rapport with the customer. Uh, then once the interview is set up, you need to start preparing uh, for your interviews that, that how you will conduct it. So that is the part when you prepare for what side of it as well as questionnaire that will be used to conduct your interviews in future. The next phase is to execute the interview uh, as per the plan and the questionnaire that you prepared earlier. Uh, stay result oriented okay and once you conduct the interview the next part is or the final phase is to review the interview outcome uh, here uh, you also go and clarify some of the uh, uh, answers that you captured from customer as well as you go ahead and consolidate uh, the interview outcome based on multiple interviews you might have conducted for same category or same persona so it's a quick simple framework uh, define identify arrange prepare execute and review to remember it quickly you can call it diaper the way i said i hope it helps you out okay so uh, that's what uh, we had for today's session uh, if you have any specific questions for uh, this topic uh, please put it in the chat window or you can send it to me via email as well my email is listed on the last slide yeah and i'll try to reply back as soon as possible uh, well, I also look forward to some of your feedback. Uh, you can, it will just take a minute or so. Uh, here is the link and uh, here is the QR code in case you want to uh, scan it quickly, but uh, please uh, take a minute uh, to share your feedback for this session. Uh, I also want you to uh, prepare for your future customer interviews using the points that we have covered today. Uh, so uh, uh, use this framework uh, and then try to practice uh, your interview before you get into actual interview. Uh, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn if you want to. Uh, the LinkedIn details is also available on the last slide. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's go to my contact. So here is my contact, my LinkedIn email as well as the uh, profile details on the product school. So thank you very much uh, for attending today's session. It has been a pleasure to talk to you. And I am. I hope that uh, today's session uh, help you uh, to conduct your future user or customer interviews uh, in a successful way. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड हैव अ ग्रेट डे बाय बाय